am back, finally getting into the groove of filming videos. I did post a video on Monday, but that was filmed two and a half weeks ago. Um, so I'm getting back into the swing of things. If you've watched my set update video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's been really, really rough around here. Um, the month of October was the worst month that I've had in such a long time. In so many years, I've not had a month where I've just been so sad and kind of really down and feeling very kind of, I hate to say the word depressed because it's a real, that's a serious thing, but it's just been something that's been really hard. And I can't tell you enough how much your love and support and the comments that you have left me has helped me in my grieving and has sort of lifted me and given me the re given me that little push to come back um, to YouTube right now. And I am so glad that I'm here. And that is why I decided to do this full face look for you. Um, I did something very similar to this on Halloween day and I snapped about it. If you follow me on Snapchat, if you don't, it'll be listed down below my Snapchat name so you can follow me there. But I did do a different variation of this. The eyes are still the same except for no dark eyeliner in the waterline. But the eyes are pretty much exactly the same. I switched out the lip and I just, I love this look. I just really love the glitter. The kind of cool tone, smoky eye, but still very daytime appropriate. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this. And if you want to see how to do the entire look, start to finish, then keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to start by priming my face with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I absolutely love this stuff, you guys know that. I'm gonna take about a pump. You don't really need much of this. I do have on um, some of my oil, beauty oil that I use in the mornings, the Jolique Skin Balancing Oil. I've made my way through half of a bottle, which that's a lot, because I only really use like two or three drops a day, so um, it's some good stuff. So I have that already on, and I'm just gonna kind of work this primer into my skin. The Alme TLC Truly Lasting Color, I have it in the shade Neutral, and then this one is in the shade 3.25, the Urban Decay one. And this is the Weightless Naked Skin Foundation. It's not the newest one. Um, I think that one is more of a full coverage. This is just a little bit lighter. So you gotta give it a good shake. And I'm also gonna shake this up, so shake them both. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just take a pump of each and mix them together and just sort of like dot it all over the place. The Urban Decay one is much more liquidy than the Alme. The Alme one is a little bit thicker, but they're both good. And they're lightweight, surprisingly, even though the Alme one is supposed to be more long wear, it's, it's got some nice qualities to it. And I have a video all about it, which I will link up here for you. And I'm going to blend all of that in with my Real Techniques sponge. I have a review on these as well, which I will post as well in the description box. But I'm just going to kind of bounce this sponge around to give myself some nice coverage. My normal concealer is the, uh, I was going to say Urban Decay, but no. It's the Maybelline one, which is similar to the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer. But this one, I have been doing one of these numbers, trying to scrape out every last little bit because it is drier than the Sahara. There's absolutely nothing left in here. I need to get myself a new one, but I feel like I've been able to kind of scrape enough to give myself some pretty good coverage under the eyes as well. And I do take a little bit of this on my eyelids and that is what I've been doing for primer for many, many months now. I've been kind of shying away from eyeshadow primer. Not for any specific reason, I just realized that I could do this and set it with powder and not get any creasing. So it's just one less product that I have to purchase. So I'm also using another Real Techniques sponge. This is the mini one, the micro eraser. Of course, setting my under eye area, I've been using the Cinema Secrets. This, I've been using this for months now, and I actually like it. It's pretty good. Now, what I have been doing lately is the whole baking thing, and I use that term very loosely because I don't pile on a whole lot and let it sit for 15-20 minutes because who's got time for that? 
this lady doesn't. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit extra or a little bit more than I normally do and just kind of push that into the under eye area. And I know this looks crazy, but trust me, there's a method behind this and it actually really does work. And I've been taking it down a little bit further, like in that under eye area, like that V shape under the eye and just kind of packing that in there and it helps for me because I'm oily and I get oily right in this area it helps prevent the oil from breaking through my foundation a little bit longer and I've been doing this um, for the last few days just kind of testing it out and I do feel like it works to keep everything just very matte or as matte for as long as possible so I'm just gonna put a little extra here and a little bit more here and I'm gonna just let that sit while I set everything else and then we'll sweep it all away. Then I take the flat side of my, um, lost my train of thought there, and I just like to kind of gently just push it into the powder and then kind of push it into the lid and press it into the sponge and then just gently sort of tap over everything else. Because I don't really get too oily on my T-zone, surprisingly. I just get really oily like right in here where I have larger pores, so this whole baking thing works. Alright, so while we have the baking going on, I'm going to move on to bronzing and a little bit of blush. I'm going to bust out the new Smashbox Holiday. This is pretty dirty. Um, Should have cleaned that. Um, but this is the LA Lights Contour Blush and Highlight Palette that came out for this year's holiday. And there's a the dog barking. I'm going to use the Morphe E3. These are the old Elite brushes. I don't know if the um, new ones are the same numbers of, for the same style of brush, but it's kind of like a, like an egg shape, kind of pointed and tapered. And I've been loving this brush to apply bronzer. And the shade that I'm going to use is called Rich Bronze, which is matte and it's very light. I think this is great for anyone who is fair to, I would say, medium tan-ish skin tones. And then just kind of bronze and contour at the same time. You guys know how I do this. <laughs> this is nothing new. All right, now for some blush, I am also gonna use another Morphe brush. This is the E4, the old style. Love this brush, and I have been just absolutely loving the shade called True Flush. It's also in this palette, and it looks like that. It looks like nothing, but it gives me the prettiest sort of natural flush to my skin. And all of these shades, I'm pretty sure, are available in either singles or the little trios that they have um, part of their permanent range. So I think it's only in this sort of setup that it's limited edition. And this is the type of blush that goes with absolutely everything. You don't really have to try to match your blush to your eyeshadow, it just works. And it's so natural. And then I like to take my sponge and kind of go over it if I feel like I've got too much going on here. You can also use a little bit of translucent powder over it as well. And speaking of translucent powder, it's time to sort of dust this all away. And if you use a translucent powder, it just comes all right off. I'm going to do my brows off camera because that will take me five hours to do, so I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. Brows are done, and I've got one eye done. The power of editing is so great. I'm going to be going back and forth with a couple of different palettes, the first one being the Viseart palette. This one has all of the basic shadows that you will ever need. If you don't have this, a dupe for it. Not that the dupe, I hope any, nobody's going to be like, oh, that's not a dupe. Um, the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette that I talked about and loved and it's one of my favorite palettes. It's very similar to this, will give you the same effect, so I'm going to use a few shades from this palette. And um, I'm going to also get one eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Vice Palette. This is either Vice 4 or 5, I lost count because they come out with these left and right. So um, I will give you some alternatives in the description box for the shades that I'm using. I'm going to take the white shade and this light peach and that's going to go all over my lid and I'm going to apply it with the Morphe E30 just to kind of make sure that everything is really well set and I'm going to add a little bit extra of the white shadow and I'm going to just kind of pack that under the brow and that's going to be kind of the brow highlight for this 
look. For the crease, I love this brush. This is the Zoeva 228. It's very precise, it's very tapered. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's got a point to it. It's perfect for getting precise with the crease. And I'm gonna use a very light tan shade and it's um, a little, slightly on the cool side, kind of more on the neutrally though, um, right here in this palette. So I'm gonna tilt my head back and find where that crease is and use the point of that brush to really help me wedge that right in. So as you guys know, if you watched my last um, video, not the one that I just posted, which is my high school tag, challenge, makeup, whatever it's called, I just butchered the name of that. I filmed that over two and a half weeks ago, so I finally put that up on Monday. But things have been quite rough around here lately, and I just wanna say thank you to those of you who watched the video and for leaving your condolences. I really appreciate it. It's helped me out in such a way that I can't even really describe. So I just want to say thank you and that I love you all very, very much. With that same Zoeva brush, I'm going to go in with the peach to add just a little bit of warmth to this look. And this is just a kind of mid-tone peach. And these are all matte. I think I said these were matte in the beginning. I don't remember. <laughs> In a way, hold the brush kind of upside down just to use the side sort of tapered bristles to help blend everything out. Uh, so for a little bit of extra added depth and some darkness, but not too, too dark because I really didn't want to go that route into that dark of a smoky eye, I took this shade right here, which is a little bit deeper and just a touch cooler than the one that I just used. So I don't know, it's just, it's just a little bit different the tone, undertone of it, my natural crease with that, with the same brush. It's just basically one brush does everything for you. It's so, so great, this brush, I love it. And just because I'm not going super, super dark with it doesn't mean that you have to. If you really wanna go dark with it, by all means, you do you. <laughs> you put as much or as little as you like. So I've been doing this look a lot. Um, I wore this, like I said before, on Halloween, and then the last couple of days that I've gone out, I just done a little bit extra makeup. I like to do more natural makeup, if you haven't already noticed, with the looks on my channel, um, because I haven't really been that inspired, but makeup has been helping me a lot lately through my grooming process of losing one of my bunnies, and um, I've been just taking a little extra time for myself, and it has led to this type of look repeatedly, <laughs> so. So what we're just gonna do. I'm just gonna show you what I've been using this basically this last week. Now that's the one shade that I'm using from this palette from Urban Decay, and the shade is called Robbery. So I'll let you see what that looks like. It's this one here, and it's basically like a cool tone, like silvery gunmetal color. So anything that you have that is similar would work. I'm gonna use this little brush that I just opened from my Ipsy uh, October bag. I'm now getting through my mail. <laughs> And this is the Lottie London, I don't know, it's just a really tiny eyeshadow brush, so anything that's kind of densely packed would work. And you're gonna need some tissue. So what I'm gonna do is load up my brush really well, tapping off the excess so we don't get any fallout. I'm gonna use my tissue, and I'm just gonna kind of, because I did my under eye area already, I'm gonna, use the tissue to help me. And what I'm gonna do is pack this color on all over my entire lid. Okay. Doesn't take a lot of building with this color because this one is very pigmented and it's very creamy. It has a metallic finish as well. So I'm just gonna pat a little bit more. And then with my eye open, I'm gonna use the very point of that brush and just kind of wedge that into where my crease starts and making sure that that color meets up into the crease shades and not going up too high with it either. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line really quickly. And again, using the same shades that I use in the crease, I'm just gonna use those in the lower lash line. So starting with that light transition brown tan shade. And then adding a little bit of that mid-tone shade as well. 
And then what I did was I added just a little bit of the lid color that I used as well. And I'm gonna go about halfway. So making sure it comes from this outer corner of the eye and swinging down to the lower lash line. Now, the star of the show is the glitter. I'm obsessed with this Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow palettes. I recommend these shadows. I love them. This palette is amazing. I think it's worth every single penny. The Lithium, which is like a taupey silver, and then Granite, which is a kind of dark gunmetal smoky silver color. So I'm going to mix both of them together. But before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of the Too Faced Glitter Glue Primer. And I've never used this before. I recently um, have been eyeing this product. So I thought, let's just try it. Because I've had it in the box. And I'm, so I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of get some on my finger. Just a little bit. And you'll feel it's kind of tacky, actually. And I'm just going to kind of press that right over that eyeshadow. And I'm just going to kind of push that right over that primer. And if I got any of that glitter up a little too high into the crease, I'm just taking a crease brush, a small one, and kind of flicking off any little bits. And there's not a whole lot of fallout, honestly, with these. Um, I did use that tissue to prevent that, but before doing the tissue method, I didn't really get that much of a fallout. So I love these. Look how glittery and just, it just adds a little bit of extra smokiness, but it's not, it's not too crazy. I, just, I love it. I really love these eyeshadows. For liner, I'm gonna tight line with the long wear pencil from Bobbi Brown. For liquid liner, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, whatever's left because I'm running out. And I just did a very thin line, very basic, nothing crazy. You do your liner the way you like it. I'm just, I'm just doing my classic thin liner. And it's just as simple as that. Now, I what I did was I used a little bit of black eyeshadow over the liner. And I like using a very precise, very thin um, angled liner brush. This is the Zoeva 317 brush. And I'm taking the black from the Viseart palette just to kind of stamp that right over it and make it a little bit more intense, the black color, and also a little bit more matte. And then, of course, no look is complete without some mascara. I chose to skip the false eyelashes just because that's what I did on Halloween, and I want to keep this look as close to what I wore for the eyes. So I'm going to take my Tarte Tardis Mascara, which is my favorite. I absolutely adore this. And I'm just going to coat these lashes with a good, generous coat. All right, so for the last little bit on the eyes, just to add a bit of a satiny kind of glow to the brow bone, I'm taking my Laura Mercier. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Highlight Powder. I love this, and it's such a good thing to have. I love this highlight. I'm gonna take a little bit right under the brow bone, and then a little bit right in this inner corner as well. All right, so for the highlights, I had a kind of champagne-y type of highlight. Um, I'm looking at the photo from Halloween. And um, the only thing different from then to today's look is that I took the black eyeliner in the waterline. But today I'm going to skip it. I think it keeps the eyes nice and open. And I don't know, I just really like doing that. So for the highlight portion, I'm going to use this um, Skin Twinkle Palette from Tarte. This was something that came out, I think, I think at the beginning of the year I'm not really sure but anything that's kind of this type of shade that's kind of like a beautiful champagne color anything that's kind of champagne would work and what I've been doing is highlighting with my damp sponge so after I use it for concealer going with highlight and I swear to you guys this is like the best thing to do I always use a brush but using a damp beauty sponge with your highlight makes it look like it's naturally your skin like that and it just looks so seamless and Oh, gorgeous on the skin so taking my damp sponge 
and going to town with it. Now for the lips, I'm going to use the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the shade Bay. Such a beautiful shade. I just recently got these. And it's the Lavish Affair. It's a set that for 25 bucks you get so many different colors. I will be doing a video on it. I love the formula. And this Bay shade is so pretty. And it has a really good applicator. It's a nice kind of peachy nude. Now, for Halloween, I actually had on a red lip, and I will show you the picture of my look. It's not going to focus the camera, but the liquid lipstick that I was wearing was the lip paint in the shade Rebel from the Tattoo Junkie. I did a review on that. I will also um, link that above my head as well if you're interested in seeing that review, but this is the lip gloss or the liquid lipstick that I was wearing on Halloween day, and that is it. All right, so that completes the look. This is what I was wearing, kind of a different twist to what I was wearing on Halloween, just a little bit more daytime. Um, I, I love this, I would wear this anytime. I absolutely just love this Moondust eyeshadow palette. I cannot recommend this to you enough. This is a really good palette. And I know that the Sephora VIB sale is happening or is about to start by the time I put that up or this video up and it's probably already started or maybe even possibly ended for VIB Rouge members. But that would be something that I would recommend to you if you love glitter eyeshadows. And I just, I don't know, I just love this look. You could definitely put the false eyelashes on. I skipped it on Halloween. I'm skipping it today because I just don't want to put on lashes. I just, I really don't. So the overall look is beautiful. I love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much. Truly from the bottom of my heart, I cannot explain to you guys how much you mean to me. And how much having you here watching my videos, the support and the love, the sweet comments that you guys give me. It just, it's the reason why I've come back to YouTube um, when I did. Um, I would have taken a little bit more time off, but I really wanted to get back into the videos. I miss you guys so much, and you guys are just so amazing. And I'm going to try not to get emotional in this video because I feel like it's going to happen, like I'm going to start crying, and I'm not, I promise I'm not going to do it. Um, but you guys are just so incredible, and I appreciate all of the love, and I thank you for being so positive and for being so kind and sweet towards me. Um, in this world that it can be kind of cruel and people are quite mean these days and I just appreciate that you guys are just so genuine and sweet and it just it fills my heart with so much joy and happiness so I thank you very very much for that I hope that you guys like the look if you haven't subscribed please do so please join my YouTube family and join me on this makeup journey that means so much to me and I appreciate you being here with me today sharing your day I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you guys very soon Bye-bye.